Good day, students. Today, we will going to learn another math lesson, and that is addition of fraction. For today's lesson, we will going to discuss fractions. We will going to discuss also how to add fractions and mix fractions without and with regrouping. And lastly, we will going to have a recap on the things that we have discussed for this session. Okay, now let's start our review. You have learned beforehand that fractions are recognizable because they have two parts. A top number and a bottom number with a line in the middle called fraction bar. In mathematical terms, the top number is called numerator and the bottom number is what we call denominator. In fractions, we have three kinds. Number one, proper fractions. Number two, we called it improper fractions. And lastly, we call that one as mixed numbers or mixed fractions. When we say proper fractions, so these are fractions wherein the numerator is smaller than the denominator. And improper fractions are fractions wherein the numerator is bigger than the denominator. We have also mixed numbers wherein mixed number has a whole number and a fraction combined together. We can also group fractions according to similar fractions and dissimilar fractions. When we say similar fractions, these are fractions wherein they have the same denominator. Like for example, we have 2 fifth. 3 fifth and 4 fifth. So, when we say similar fractions, so these are fractions we're in, they have the same, exactly the same denominators. Now, when we say the similar fractions, so these are fractions we're in, they have different denominators. Example for this one is 1 fifth. 2 6 and 3 over 7. So for this one, as what you have noticed, they have different denominators. Okay, now let's proceed to our topic for this day, and that is addition of similar fractions. Actually, when we add similar fractions, it is very easy. It is because all we have to do is just to add our numerator and then just copy our denominator. Like for example, for this one, we have 4, 8 plus 2 over 8. Now for this one, since we have the same denominator, all we have to do is just to add the numerator 4 plus 2, that is 6, and just copy the denominator 8. But let us try to look our answer here. Can we still simplify 6 over 8? Is there a number that can divide 6 and 8? The answer is yes. 6 and 8 can still be divided by 2. So we can still simplify 6 over 8 by dividing the numerator and the denominator by 2. So 6 divided by 2, that is 3. And 8 divided by 2, that is 4. So for our answer here, we have 3 fourth. Always remember that we need to put our answer in lowest term. Let us try to have another example here. We have 3 over 10 plus 2 over 10. Since we have the same denominator 10, just copy the denom denominator 10 and add 3 plus 2, and that is 5. Okay, now, can we still simplify 5 over 10? Is there a number that can divide 5 and 10? The answer is yes. Actually, we can divide 5 and 10 by 5. And if we're going to divide them, the answer is 1 half. Because 5 divided by 5 is 1, and 10 divided by 5 is 2. For this one, if we have different denominators, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to find their LCD, or least common denominator. The least common denominator for 6 and 12. We're going to use, we're going to find LCD using the LCM. 
So what do you think is the LCM of 6 and 12? Let us try. What are the multiples of 6 and what are the multiples of 12? So multiples of 6 are 6, 12. How about for 12? Multiples of 12 is 12, 24. Have you seen already their LCM? Yes, that is 12. So since their LCM is 12, that will be also their new denominator or LCT. So 12, why, where do I get the 8 here? I just 12, divide it by 6, that is 2, 2 times 4, that is 8. So again, the process is 12, divide by the denominator 6, and multiply with our numerator 4. So that is 8. How about for our second fraction here? Of course, our denominator or LCD is still 12. Same process, 12 divided by 12, that is 1, 1 times 5, that is 5. Okay, so since we already changed them into like fractions, they, are, they have the same denominators, we could now add them. So 8 plus 5, that is 13, and then just copy their denominator, 12. Now, as what you have noticed, that our answer here is an improper fraction. The numerator is bigger than the denominator. If our answer is improper fraction, then we need to change this one into a mixed number. How can we change this improper fraction into a mixed number? By dividing 13 or divide. We're going to divide our numerator by our denominator. So 13 divided by 12. How many 12 can we find in 13? We have 1. 1 times 12, that is 12. And 13 minus 12, that is 1. So for our final answer here, yeah, we have 1 and 1 over 12. Okay, so where do I put, where do I get this answer? Our quotient 1 will become our whole number. Our 12 here will become our denominator and for our remainder, it will become our numerator. So, let us try to have this 2 over 8 plus 5, 6. As what you have noticed here, we have different denominators. Since we have different denominators, we need to find their LCD using LCM. So, what do you think is the LCM of 6 and 8? Let's start with 8. We have 8, 16, 24. How about for 6? We have 6, 12, 18, 24. So have, you read, have you already seen the common between these two numbers? Very good. We have 24. And 24 now will become their L, C, D. So, we have here 6. Where do I got the 6 here? I'll just 24 divided by 8. That is 3. And 3 times 2, that is 6. Okay, so again, this is divide. Divide the LCD with our denominator and multiply it with our numerator. Same thing for our second fraction. 24, which is their LCD. Common between these two numbers. 24 divided by 6, that is 4. 4 times 5, that is 20. Now, since they are now same, the same or similar fractions, we could now add them. So, 6 plus 20, that is 26. And then, just copy the denominator, 24. Okay. So, as what we can see, our answer is still in improper fraction. What should we do? We're going to change this one into mixed number. So, we're going to divide 26 divided by 24 
How many 24 we can find in 26? We have 1. 1 times 24, that is still 24. And 26 minus 24, we have 2. So for our final answer, we have... Okay, let me erase this one first. Okay, so for our final answer, or for our answer, we have 1 and 2 over 24. But, look at our fraction part, 2 over 24. We can still reduce 2 over 24 by dividing it by 2. So if we're going to divide 2 divided by 2, we have 1. And 24 divided by 20, uh, 24 divided by 2, we have 12. Just copy our whole number 1. Always remember, students, that if our fraction part in our mixed number can still be reduced in lowest term, we really need to reduce it into lowest term. If there is a number that can divide our numerator and denominator, always remember that should be the same number the same number that can divide 2 and 24, then we need to reduce it into a lowest term. Now, for this instance, 2 can divide 2 and 2 can divide 24, so we really need to change this one into a lowest term. And for our final answer, we have 1 and 1, 12. Okay, this time, let us proceed in how we're adding fractions and mixed fractions with the same denominators. Okay, let us try to have this example. We have 2 over 6 plus 3 and 1, 6. Okay, for this one, since we there is no whole number here, in our first fraction, just copy the whole number 3. And then after that one, can you still remember our lesson if we are adding similar fractions? All we have to do is just to add or just copy, I mean, our denominator and add our numerator. So, let us add our numerator, 2 plus 1, that is 3, and then just copy the denominator, 6. Okay, now, is this will be our final answer. Look at the fraction part. Is there a number that can divide 3 and 6? The answer is yes. The number that can divide 3 and 6 is... 3. So, we can put this one into lowest term by dividing 3 over 6 by 3. So, for our final answer, we have 3 and 1 half. Why we have here 1 half? Because 3 divided by 3, that is 1, and 6 divided by 3, that is 2. Just copy the denominator, 3. Okay, how about addition of mixed number with the same denominators, okay. How about this one? For this one, since we have whole numbers here, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to add the whole number. 4 plus 2, that is 6. Add our numerator, 2 plus 4, that is 6. And then just copy our denominator, which is 12. Okay, can we still simplify the, uh, the fraction part here? Is there a number that can divide 6 and 12? Yes, there is. So the number that can divide 6 and 12 is, of course, number 6. So 6 divided by 6, that is 1. And 12 divided by 6, that is 2. Just copy the, denominator, uh, the whole number, 6. So for our final answer, we have 6 and 1 half. How about this one? Okay, so for this one, just add our whole number 1 plus 2, that is 3. Add our numerator 4 plus 2, that is 6. And just copy the denominator. Again, this only applies if we have the same denominator. So for this one, we can still simplify 6 and 12 by dividing it by 6. And we have our final answer, 3 and 1 half. 1 half here because we have 6 divided by 6, that is 1. And 12 divided by 6, that is 2. 
Okay, now let us proceed on how to add fractions and mixed fractions with the similar denominators. Okay, let us try these examples. Of course, for this one, just copy our whole number. And of course, can you still remember what we did? If we have different denominators, we, need, we find their LCD. Now, for this instance, the LCD of 9 and 6 is 18. 9, 18. 6, 12, 18. Okay, now, where do I get 4 here? It's because I do 18 divided by 9, that is 2, and 2 times 2, that is 4. For the second fraction, 18 divided by 6, that is 3. 3 times 1, that is 3. Now, since they are now the same denominator, they have the same denominator, just add our numerator, 4 plus 3, that is 7, or 4. Sorry, that this should be 7. Okay. 4 plus 3, that is 7. And just copy the denominator, 18, and also our whole number, 6. So, for our final answer, we have 6 and 7 over 18. Always remember... In adding fraction and mixed fractions with different denominators, the step one or the first step that we need to follow is that determine the least common denominator or the LCD. Next is to get the equivalent fraction using the, this denominator. Step number three, add the whole number, then the fractional part. And lastly, we need to reduce our answer to its simplest form whenever it is. Possible. Let us ponder with this saying, a man is like a fraction whose numerator is what he is and whose denominator is what he think of himself. The larger the denominator, the smaller the fraction. It is the saying from Leo Tolstoy. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you learned something for this day and hope to see you in our next lesson. Bye-bye!